This is a screen recording on how to find a copyright free image, um, change the image with an image editor and add it to a PowerPoint presentation or in this case an open office uh, presentation. Here's an example of what it looks like. In the slide on the left the image has been cropped so that it's a long rectangle uh, and it sits on the left margin of the slide and it's like that for every slide. What I do is I go to the internet and I go to a search field called flickr.com excuse me, slash creative commons um, and that page looks like this and it comes up with uh, I think about five different databases depending on the creative commons uh, license to it. The one I only use is the attribution license database. The others are attribution with um, no derivatives attribution with no commercial and no derivatives etc etc and so the, the freedoms to of the reuse kind of get more and more restricted so attribution only means that I can do anything with the image as long as I give attribution to the original author as you can see in this database there are over three uh, 3.2 million photos so I click see more and I put a search word in and I generally just use single word searches and in this case I need a slide to go with sectorial uh, the slide is about um, the uh, uh, sectorial something or other so I'm just going to put the word sectorial and see what comes up and I think that image there straight off is, is usable for me at least as a graphic okay so I click that image and it takes me to that images page and it's got the image, the title, comments about it and some uh, information and there's the copyright statement there. If I was to click that it would say I'm free to reuse as long as I attribute. Okay now this is where it gets a little bit different. What I do is I go up to the URL and the last domains there, the JC loop slash the number that's the information, that's who the author is, JC Loop, that's their Flickr username and then the number is the actual uh, location of the page where the photo is so I copy that last bit, right click copy then I come back down to the image, I right click the image and save image as and I paste what I just copied as the image name now image names can't take slashes so I've just got to replace it with a dash and save. Now I've already saved this previously, I just decided to hit screen record after I've done it so I'll just replace it now. So the file name that I've just given that image tells me who the username is and what the location is and so with that file name I'll be able to come back later and locate this page in Flickr so that if I need to give further attribution. Okay, then what I do is I go to the download manager now Firefox automa automatically pops up this window when it finishes downloading an image or anything you've just downloaded in um, Internet Explorer I think you have to manually open it and it's I think it's view uh, or window uh, download and then what I do is I right click the file that's just been downloaded and ask it to open in the containing folder so that's opening the folder in which I've just saved the image to and there it is highlighted then I right click it again and open with my preferred image editor. Now I use GIMP to do image editing. Uh, there's, uh, you can see there's, uh, sorry I just lost that, you can see there's fireworks and you might have, I don't know, Photoshop or uh, whatever. But I use GIMP so I'm just going to right click GIMP and what I'm going to do is crop this image. So there it is opened in GIMP. Now there's several ways you could do it. You could either just hit the crop tool which is that tool and draw a box draw a box there and that's how I'd like to crop it but I'll just cancel that because what I'm doing is I want my images after they're cropped to be the same size and I just use canvas size so it's image canvas size uh, I've got the, the version of GIMP that's very much like Photoshop by the way so um, what you're seeing here will be very similar in Photoshop now I'm just generally going for the width of 180 you notice I unchecked the um, relationship between the dimensions so that by unchecking that when I change it to 180 this one will remain at 339 I did change the, I did resize change the now down here it gives me a little preview I move it around to where I want it and I think I'd like it like that resize and there's my banner or my um, margin graphic file save as and then I put a little dash 2 
this tells me it's the second version of that image. Remember I used the JC loop and the um, I, the number to identify where the file is in Flickr. This dash 2 is just to tell me that it's the second version. Okay. Now I think we've just had a little hiccup uh, there because of the screen recorder or something, but anyway, I know I've already got the second version in there somewhere. Uh, just cancel. Nope. Oh, we've got a little freeze there. How embarrassing. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. Sorry, Windows were popping up behind Windows. So I've just got to go OK, OK, because I'm choosing it to export as a JPEG. OK, that's done. Um, now, I'll do the presentation file. Here's where I want to put it. Now, this is going to look a bit funny because I've got so much text in this slide, it's going to actually encroach in on the um, image, but you'll still get the concept. I'll click Insert, Picture, From File, um, it was JC loop version 2. Now if I wanted to see the thumbnail view of that, just click thumbnail and there it is. Now here it is there, I'll put it over to the left, stretch it down, and if that text was smaller, I use over here as a bit of an indication of it's lining up. It's pretty rough and ready, but it seems to work. Just move this along, move this along, and it looks like it's almost lining up one more time. Okay, so it's lining up with the image. Now over here I might just attempt to fit the text in. Um, maybe this font needs to be smaller. No, nah, it's not going to work. So in that case, I'm going to undo those changes. And in this slide, I might just see what it looks like if it's really stretched. Nah, it looks ridiculous. So I'm going to get rid of it. But at least you know that that's what it looks like. So what I need to do is go back to the GIMP image editor. Um, have I got going here? File, open. Oh, here we go. Um, just opening that original file again. sector is that one I'll just see what it looks like if I crop it at very thin margins we'll see what that looks like file save as and this would be my version 3 Okay, we're back here now. Insert picture, version 3. And I guess that'll work. That'll have to do. So, anyway, that's a quick demo on um, how to find a uh, copyright free image using flickr.com slash creative commons with the attribution license database and then saving that file down to a file uh, with a file name that helps me locate that image again in Flickr. Then right click and opening that file um, in a image editor and cropping the image so that I get um, a, a size that's usable on a left hand banner and then inserting the image into your presentation software. I hope that gives you some ideas.